Diane Lewis, and here's a faith lift. And this is to perhaps lift any of you who are experiencing loss, the loss of someone that you've loved or at least liked a lot, someone that you admired. And one of the things that I put on my Facebook page is that loss is inevitable. In the way of heaven and earth, especially earth, loss will happen. Loss will happen. And it will disturb us because we've cared. And we're going to grieve or we're going to feel rejected or we're going to feel abandoned. Uh, people leave for all sorts of reasons. Sometimes they make stuff up. Sometimes it's just time for them to move on. Sometimes they move away. Sometimes they just emotionally shut down. And sometimes they leave this plane of existence. And the ones left behind can go through a whole gamut of emotions. But here's the deal. Love is eternal. Love is eternal. And love is a part of us. So when we remember these people and remember how we liked them or loved them, when we put our attention on how we liked them and loved them, not what they did to us or not that they had to leave or not that they went too quickly or too soon, whatever, and I don't mean to belittle that, but, but when we put our attention on the love that we had, we'll notice that we still have it. And when we notice that we still love them or like them or feel connected to them and we, we put our energy there, then that, that has a tendency to heal our heart and we can come from love and connection, with, no matter what they're doing or where they are. And then when we come from that sense of love and connection, we can feel gratitude, grateful that they ignited that love and that connection and that fondness in us. And we can be grateful for the love, the connection, and the fondness. And that's a very healing feeling. Now, as a minister, uh, uh, people come and go. People will come to our center and get a lot out of it, and either they move or they move on. And I learned a long time ago that, that for everything there is a season, and for every relationship there is a season. But if I put my attention on the richness of that relationship, the person can go, but the richness stays. I think I was closer to my grandparents than I ever was, was my parents. And my grandparents left a long time ago. And I would say that I miss them because, yeah, I miss them. But mainly, I'm just so full because I loved them. I'm more filled with gratitude because they were in my life than sorrow that they're not in it now. And it, it, it enriches me. So I wanted to share that idea with you because the way of earth <laughs> is that people will leave. But the way of heaven is that the blessings are eternal. The blessings continue on. And if we put our attention on what was good about the relationship, the blessings will expand. So let's solidify this idea with a prayer. Take a deep breath. Oh, doesn't it feel good to just breathe sometimes? Just consciously breathe. Oh. And in this conscious breath and in this conscious awareness, I simply speak my word that God is present. God is present right where I am, and God is present right where who I have loved is. Whether on this plane of existence or another, God is present and doing its mighty work of connection and expressing in, as, and through me as the love that I express and the love that I will receive in return. I give thanks that every beautiful, wonderful connection is magnified by this love. And God is blessing me because of this love. And I am blessed because of this love. And all of this is happening, not because I'm trying, but because I am allowing. And as I know that for myself, I know that for each person that's listening to this prayer. We allow the blessing of love to lift us up. We allow the blessing of love to expand 
our awareness of how things are, that we may be glad for every person who has been in our life. Thank you, sweet spirit, and so it is. Thank you.